Hey, I'm Caden, the Charming Avenger, and on my channel, I'm learning how to bake. Now, I'm not learning how to bake just by watching a YouTube tutorial or following a recipe online. I'm learning how to bake by trying to recreate one of the big bakes on Food Network's Kids Baking Championship. This past week on Monday night, they had to create a Italian rainbow cookie, which kind of confuses me because it's a cake, not a cookie. I, I don't know. Anyways, uh, I am going to try to recreate that this week. Um, I'm going to have to do it kind of differently. I only have one sheet tray, so I'm gonna have to make them all one at a time, let them all cool, put them all together, then put them in the freezer. Uh, it's gonna take some time, but I'm excited about this one. I think it's actually going to challenge me a bit more than just the past two uh, challenges. They've been cupcakes. While cupcakes are difficult, uh, this one's really gonna up my game a little bit, I think, tonight. Uh, I'm reading the, the, the run through on how it's done, the directions on how to make this, and there are a lot of steps. I'm used to maybe five or six steps. This one has 10, so it is going to take a bit more time tonight to get this all complete completed. Uh, cross your fingers for me. Let's hope it works the way I want it to. Uh, we'll see what happens, but yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm feeling better. I've been sick the last couple of days. Uh, I'm, I'm back. I'm ready to go. I'm excited to do this. So uh, yeah, come on. Let's bake. Let's do it. All right, this recipe is kind of insane. Um, it wants me to now sift two cups of flour onto a sheet of parchment paper and sprinkle that with salt and then add it into the mixture of the almond paste, eggs, butter, and sugar. This is really weird, guys. I've never done anything like this before in baking. This is, what is the purpose of that? Um, I, I'm one of those people who I always ask questions, math, uh, all the time in math class. What, what's the purpose of that? What's the reasoning for that? What is the purpose for this? What is the reasoning for this? If you have any idea why I'm supposed to sift uh, flour onto parchment paper and then put it into here, please comment. Let me know what it is in the comment box down below. Email me, thecharmingavenger at gmail.com, whatever you could get. Uh, uh, why? Uh, I guess I'll go make it snow on some parchment paper. This is weird. All right, so the first cake is in the oven. Uh, this pain, this this pain, this dough is such a pain in the butt to work with. It's sticky, it's goopy, it doesn't spread evenly. I don't like it. <laughs> um, I, I don't like it one bit, actually. It's, it's uh, it feels really thick, but also really thin on the parchment paper. So I, I don't know if it's gonna do what it's supposed to do in there and come out right. I know a couple of the contestants on Monday's uh, episode did have some problems with over baking and uh, having to really cut and, and try to, to make the best of what they had. Uh, so this is hard. Um, it's really kind of annoying actually. Uh, and 
I don't know. I don't, I don't like this. Um, I haven't liked it since I started working with the dough kind of all together. It's, it's really thick and goopy. And I looked, I didn't skip anything. I, I didn't miss any type of ingredient. Um, at all yeah no nothing here's the deal though if this doesn't work and I have to do something else uh, I'm going to make just regular cake with maybe some almond flour added into it because um, almond paste is expensive and I'm not gonna go buy another box of it to try to do this again uh, with with the risk of it possibly failing so uh, if this doesn't work and and this is a, a, a loss and I have to start over again it's just going to be an almond cake uh, with either almond syrup, almond extract, or almond flour, and then I'll color it that way. Um, I know I'm talking about plan B's before I even see plan A, but that's how my brain works. I'm always looking for what to do next, just in case this doesn't work. I don't know if this is going to work. I, I don't like the way it feels. Um, I guess we'll see. I don't know. Anyways, uh, while this is baking, do me a favor. Comment down below on what your favorite dessert is. Because in between Food Network's Kids Baking Championship and Spring Baking Championship, there is going to be a week or two where there's nothing on um, competition-wise. And I need to, uh, to do something in those weeks. So maybe I'll pick one of your recipes and I will do that while we are in between weeks. Uh, I, I think there's gap weeks. If there's gap weeks, then I'll definitely do it. Uh, so comment down below. Let me let me know what you have to say. Right, right down there, down there. Yep, that's it. Uh, all right. So I got about six minutes until that cake's out of the oven. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's it's weird. We're gonna let it do its thing though. We're gonna see what happens, uh, and and then go from there. If I need to, I, I'll I have something else kind of in mind. Uh, I was thinking maybe if this fails, maybe I'll do a roll cake with an inlay pattern of an Italian flag and keep the marmalade uh, or the jams in the middle and then I can do a ganache drizzle over the top of the roll cake. Uh, just something to think about while, while this is going. So, the good thing is the ganache is set up really great. The bad thing is, <laughs> did it too early, I think. Um, it's got to set up and get hard and stuff anyway. So, maybe I didn't do it too early, but uh, it's got to sit, the, the, the cake cookie thing has got to sit in the, the refrigerator for like four hours before I can top this. So, um, who knows what's going to happen with that. Uh, I might have to like just very carefully reheat this and make sure that it doesn't get too soft so that I can put it... <clears throat> excuse me, on top of, uh, the cookie cake thing. Uh, <clears throat> I did taste it. Uh, I cut off a little bit just to see how it tasted. It did taste good. So, uh, while it's a pain in the butt to make and the dough is awful, maybe the first time around is going to be like that. And the second time may not be as hard. Who knows? I might have to try this again at a later date uh, just to see if it's still as complicated as the first time. Uh, other than that, everything is done now. The cake is chilling. The ganache is getting thicker. Um, 
now we wait. I, I pick Allison up from work. That's when we will, uh, well, I will finish assembling this. We will get it all together. Um, and from there, we'll have her taste it. She'll tell me what she thinks. I'll give it a taste all together. Um, and then it's not going to be a lot, but we are going to send it to, tell it to work once again because I, I can't have that in the house. Um, other than that, this week is, uh, there were a lot of steps to, to go into that. And it was kind of crazy there for, for like five minutes. But other than that, this is pretty easy. Um, getting everything together, like the, the steps seem not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. I guess that's what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's almost done. I'm, I'm kind of shocked. Uh, hopefully it, it turns out well. Hopefully Allison likes it and, uh, you know, we'll go from there. Now next week, uh, it already looks like they teased it a little bit and I'm going to have to make a trifle. So uh, if anybody wants to send me a trifle bowl, uh, send me a message directly on, uh, Instagram or, uh, Twitter at the charming Avenger, uh, both ways are spelled the same e either place. Um, if you have a trifle or you want to send me a trifle, I will take it. I will be thankful for it. Uh, I'll give you a shout out if you want. Um, I, I I'm going to need a trifle bowl. So, you know, if you got one just laying around, send it my way, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, other than that, we're going to sit around. We're going to wait for this to be done. I'm going to have a little bit of uh, dinner and yeah, well, we'll come back when everything is said and done, and whew, we'll try it. I, I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. How, we'll see what happens. All right. So uh, the Italian rainbow cookie is uh covered in ganache and all put together this is it prior to it being cut um i'm gonna get this cut and we're gonna give it a shot and see what it tastes like hopefully it's good um yeah here we go all right so here we go this is them all cut up I didn't cut them all that great. Um, something I'm not so hot at is cutting things, but here we go. This is the finished product. They're nice and glossy. They look good. I'm really looking forward to, to tasting them and seeing how they taste. Um, let's see if I can get a, you can see the layers there. So it, it looks pretty good. Um, all right, so uh, now we just have to get it all served up and ready for Allison to try it. Now, just as a reminder, folks, every Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, Food Network's Kids Baking Championship airs. I will watch it on Mondays. Tuesdays, I will shop and bake. Uh, and then hopefully I'll have everything uploaded for you on Wednesdays. I do apologize that this week was late. Um, like I said earlier, I was not feeling good. So... Now that I'm back and ready to go, uh, expect weekly updates. Let me show you the scraps real quick before I call Allison over here. These scraps, I don't think I've ever seen a prettier scrap in my entire life. Like, look at that. Uh, that's just, it's pretty. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one, seeing how they taste. Uh, so anyways, let's call Allison over and let's have her, uh, let's have her try. All right, Allison, so what you have in front of you today is an Italian rainbow cookie cake thing. I'm still not exactly sure if it's a cookie or a cake. It's like Boston cream pie. It's not a pie. Yes. This is an Italian rainbow cookie. Cake. It might not be a cookie. I don't know. Uh, so your flavors today are the traditional Italian uh, rainbow cookie cake thing. It is a apricot jam with, uh, I put dried apricots in it just to kind of get a little texture. Um, and the, the red and white filling and, and the white and green filling is the traditional, um, raspberry jam. So, uh, that's it. Uh, on top is a, it's not like a dark chocolate. It's like a mid chocolate ganache. I think it's dark. Is it? 
It's like semi dark. I'm pretty sure on the bag it said dark and chocolate. <laughs> Uh, but that's it. That is the challenge. Now, there was a twist that I did not do because it was to serve many pizzas and that cost a lot, so I didn't do that. You should have canceled the twist on the eclairs. Huh? The twist on the eclairs was the cranberry sauce and oh, it destroyed them. You're right. So if you're going to throw out twists, Should've that would have been the one to throw up. Throw out. Well, <laughs> this is my throw out for this one. So uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, Can dig I eat in. It? Yeah. Can I eat it? Oh my gosh, it smells so almondy. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. I still don't know if it's a cookie or a cake. <laughs> What's it taste like? Is it. The texture is definitely somewhere between cookie and cake. It's like really soft cookie, but not under bake soft, just soft. Um, the jam comes out really nicely. And. It's a lot of, it's a really good blending of flavors. There's kind of a lot going on, but it's like a, it's like a symphony. It all works with the chocolate and the almond and the raspberry and the apricot. Let's see if we can get it good. And oh, the, yeah. the jam kind of oozed out just a little bit when I bit into it. It was really good. Nice. I've never had, <laughs> I've never had one of these cookies before though. I have no idea if it's right, but it tastes good. It's really good. I think it tastes really good. Yeah. I enjoy it. Winner. There we go. <laughs> All right, kids, so that's it uh, for this week. Once again, Kids Baking Championship airs Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Watch it and then uh, wait for me to upload on Wednesday for my own take on that week's challenge. Um... Yeah, that's it, folks. This is really fun. Um, it was a good one. I, I learned a lot on this one. I learned that this is not my favorite thing to make, um, but I may make it again in the future. Who knows? Uh, all right, so that's it. I hope you guys have a great week. Uh, remember to be kind to one another. We need that, uh, especially right now. And uh, also, if I can bake, well, so can you. See you next week.